Hi, I'm addressing especially Mr. Putin, uh, President of Russia. Uh, President Putin, um, your idea to your declaration of war on the Ukraine is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'll tell you why. Um, the collective hive mind is kind of rolling their eyes at this point. The whole military might intimidation thing was feared and kind of misunderstood back in the 1940s, probably 50 years ago, sure. The people who would be fighting for their countries didn't truly know the full reasons why they were doing it. They weren't part and party to the inner machinations of what was going on within government. However, these days, we all have the internet. Everybody is pretty much everybody. Besides maybe outer lying tribes that live in the mountains, everybody who has internet is now aware that if we're fighting war, if we have soldiers on front lines, it is an absolute waste of human lives. And it is purely a highly selfish and Machiavellian thing to be doing on the parts of governments. In this day and age, military war and military might is an extremely self-indulgent thing to do on the part of the government. And spending even the most nominal amount at this time on military might and in intimidation towards other countries has totally got their priorities wrong. If you have extra finances and ex extra fiscal power before subjecting any other country to any other, any form of intimidation or attack, one should be 100% happy and secure that one's own country is thriving. You seem to look as if you are full within your rights to declare a war on Ukraine. However, is your own country fully taken care of and provided for? Does everybody have a viable income? Are there hungry children anywhere? Have all resources been exhausted in terms of getting the education system right? Do, do as many people as possible have access to it? How are the rivers and the lands in your country faring? Is everything relatively unpolluted and fine? Is the state of the land, the sea and the air in fit condition or state for future generations of Russians? If any of these questions have been answered no to, you have no right to be declaring war or making any ventures outside of your own country, no matter what the excuse is. If you have not taken care of all the needs of the tax-paying members of your country, you have no business declaring war on any other country at all whatsoever. In this day and age, when it is abundantly clear that our biggest problems are the way we are interfacing and dealing with the planet, if we are spending money on the military and military movements, with the climate as it is, with the state of the earth in the condition that it is, none of us have any benefit to be sending troops to war at this stage with any kind of guns, weapons or anything. Because apparently in this world, all problems can be solved with a certain amount of money behind them. And if this is true, why on earth are we spending, or any of us, spending money on weapons of war, movements of troops, any form of transportation for this kind of thing? It's absolutely illogical, irrational, and there's absolutely no practicality behind it. Also, I'm not sure if you've considered how this could impact the respect of your people and following generations of Russians and Ukrainians after this. 
Before, 50 years ago, people didn't really understand how war worked. All they understood was that they were told by their governments to go and fight, and that's what they did. Nowadays, what people know is they are told by their governments to go and fight, but yet they know it's a load of bollocks, really. And it's basically they're doing it on pain of death, or basically because they are scared of the repercussions if they don't. If they go AWOL, what will happen to them? What will happen to their family? How will this impa impact their careers? This is the only reason why people still do it. People are very aware that we are all pretty much very similar in different parts of the world. We all want the same things. We all want our families to be safe. We all don't want to have to worry about our brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers, children going up in smoke at an enemy front line. How will this impact the respect with the uh, current awareness of all of this, of everybody on the earth at the moment? What result will this show in the amount of respect and regard that current and future generations will have for the state of Russia and Ukraine, or maybe the state of Russia and Ukraine together? How seriously Will they want to listen to you? How seriously will they want to listen to the government? Will it be fear motivated or will it be for a sense of love of country? At this stage of the game, if any one country, any one government is declaring war on another, it is not because of the love of the people. The people are not fighting. They are no longer fighting because they love their country and because they love their government. They are fighting because they probably think they have a gun to their head if they don't. They are fighting for fear for their family and their career and their futures. What do people who are so similar to each other, how do they view more and more a government that's forcing them to face and fight and kill and maim other people who are very, very similar to them and they have nothing personally against them? How is that going to make the general public feel about you or any other government that expects their people to fight others on this regard? If this does keep on happening, I guess there's not much left for us to think besides it must actually be just part of a human extermination program. And it's not just government's uh, trying to fight for their own causes. It's governments actually trying to reduce the numbers of their own populations for one reason or other. It's really starting to look more like that than anything else. And if you, if you do happen to be a soldier, or if you're Russian or Ukrainian or anywhere else, and they're expecting you to fight somewhere for a cause that is totally not your own, and you personally have no problems with the people across across the fence there. Why on earth are you doing it? And if you if you can get out of it, if you can avoid it, try to do that as much as possible because absolutely it's a waste of life. And there was no point in your mother going through nine months of pregnancy and going through hours of childbirth and your parents raising you and you fighting and learning and studying and striving for all your hopes and dreams just to be snuffed out by a very selfish government with no thought for you. 